Welcome inside the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHops.com. I'm Ryan LaFay, joined alongside Dennis Papadatos, head coach of the Hops wrestling team. Coach, how are you? No, I'm doing good. Now let's just talk about the upcoming week. Let's start off with the Edinburgh Open uh, this week coming up. Talk a little about it. Last week, maybe some changes you wanted to make. Did you make any changes to the, the starters going out there and wrestling in Edinburgh? Um, not really. Um, well, you know, one was for a little bit I was kind of leaning towards wrestling Omar Haddad there, and then I changed my mind, so Omar's not going. Um, nothing happened, he's not hurt or anything. We just, like I said, he was one of the guys that I wasn't sure which direction I wanted to go. Um, we also weren't sure on Mike, but uh, Mike is adamant about wrestling there, so I actually love the fact and the culture of he wants to wrestle. If I really told him he can't wrestle, he wouldn't, wouldn't but um, he's really adamant about wrestling there, so I really like that and the idea and the culture. So if he really wants to do it, and he has, he actually has some really good reasonings because I tried talking him out of it at first, but he had really good reasons, and I said, you know what? All right, Mike, it's a good idea. So uh, I'll, I'm gonna, you know, he's gonna go wrestle there and hopefully keep on his, you know, his winning way. So really, no other changes. Um, um, as of right now, the people that who are, you know, expected to be in the IWAs and wrestling in Edinburgh, the plan is for, you know, um, Hudson and Hughes and you know, 49 with uh, Chris Savage and um, and and Berger. And just looking at this Edinburgh Open as well, you mentioned all the guys wrestling there. Besides wins, obviously, what else are you really trying to get out of this this Open? As uh, of course the end of the season is, is coming up in about a month or so. I'm experienced, so if someone else, you know, if someone goes down for a little bit, these guys are not, you know, um, stagnant. They've been ready. They made weight. They wrestled. They were in competition. So if we got to put them in at some point, they're kind of ready. They're, they're fresh. Some guys are young it's for the future. You know what I mean? Like getting them experience for. Or, you know, obviously, I'm sure they plan on being the guys in the future, and, and uh, you know, it's for those reasons, you know, it bring them along. And for the most part, it's, it's, you know, to keep those guys wrestling, to keep them motivated, to have an event for them, you know what I mean? And also, um, you know, like I said, the most important thing is, is to make sure those guys are ready if they need to be called into action. And if we just sit here and do nothing, they won't be ready. Dan Valamont, your assistant coach, he's going to Turkey to wrestle or begin wrestling for the Olympics. How about that? Yeah. Have, have you seen anything out of him, I guess, in practice? Has he been training with your guys? Yeah, yeah, of course. He's been training a bunch. He trains. He gets, part, you know, out, you know, the freestyle is a different style than college style, so he also has partners that um, kind of come in and he works out with as well, and he obviously trains with the guys, and he's actually in Turkey already. He, uh, he actually had an interesting way out there. It's... Um, he was supposed to leave two days ago, and when he got to the airport, Turkey has a weird rule, and don't quote me if I could be wrong, from my understanding is you can't enter the country if your passport expires in 150 days, and Dan expired in 147. So he wasn't allowed on the plane. Team USA went to Turkey. Dan had to stay back home at night, go to New York City in the morning, get a new passport. He got on the plane last night, and he's in Turkey right now, and he's got to, you know, make weight and uh, wrestle. So it'd be a good experience for him. And yeah, he's been training, and you know, you know, he's uh, ready to go. So we, you know, it'd be a good representation of our club, of our program, and and like as I said before, bring good experience back to our guys. We obviously wish him all the best now in Turkey. He's Dennis Papahouse, head coach of the Hops wrestling team. Coach, thanks for the time. Appreciate having us and looking forward to a good weekend and getting ready for the last stretch of the season next week against Ryder. And thank you for watching the W. Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHops.com.